Good morning, friends and family. Um, I just wanted to take a moment to post a quick response to uh, my friend Ron's comments around the Chick-fil-A boycott. Uh, I just figured a video response would be a little more nuanced and have a better tone than a written comment would and get across the fact that I'm really not militant about this. Um, but I think it's important to understand the distinction. Um, and for me, that distinction is if the president of Chick-fil-A had come out and said that he believes in a traditional biblical definition of marriage, um, I would not boycott Chick-fil-A for that. And um, while I don't agree with that view, and I'll include links in the comments below to a discussion about the traditional and biblical definition of marriage and the fact that is just not an accurate term, um, you can read that down below. But my boycott of Chick-fil-A comes not from his comments, but from the organization, Chick-fil-A, their, their decision to donate millions of dollars to nonprofit organizations that spend that money to hurt me. And that's wrong. And I'm not going to give someone $5 to take $2 to then turn around to spend against me as a person. Not as a customer, but as a person. And um, that's what they do. They donate to organizations that Ron listed out. And there are ones that do good. For instance, the Fellowship of Christian Athletes. That organization does a lot of good for a lot of teenagers. Um, I actually worked with them in high school and in middle school. And they help a lot of people and they create a community that is good and that is vital and I do not begrudge Chick-fil-A for donating to them, though I do begrudge some of SC, the SCA's views, and I think that they are, they are wrong. Um, the majority of their views and the majority of what they do is good. And if we are to take the bad with the good sometimes, I have no qualms with Chick-fil-A donating to the SCA. However, Chick-fil-A donating to groups such as the Family Research Council, Marriage and Family Foundation, and Exodus International are not okay. Exodus International is an ex-gay movement organization that believes that you can pray and believe the gay out of yourself and others. And there is a huge body of evidence that that is not only incorrect, it is harmful to the individuals in the program. And for every one success story out of Exodus International, there are 10 horror stories. And they should not be funded by anyone. That's, that has, if outside of the marriage equality debate, Exodus International should not be given money. They, they are a dangerous organization in many senses of the term. Um, but even if we move away from that and allow for maybe everyone should have the right to fix themselves, even if they're harming themselves, let's take Exodus out of the discussion. The Marriage and Family Foundation and the Family Research Council, their sole purpose, while they might say, might, while they might say otherwise, their, their money speaks volumes, and their money goes to preventing gay Americans from getting married. And they do so based solely on religiously held beliefs. And that's wrong. That's not what America is about. America isn't about taking one religion's beliefs and telling everyone else in the country they must then act according to those beliefs. Indeed, many of the people who came to the colonies came to avoid that kind of um, religious intolerance, because that's what it is. When the king was dictating how Protestants should behave, when the Pope was dictating how all churches, whether Catholic or not, should behave, people didn't like that, and they came here to get away from that, because you should be allowed to practice your religion and your freedom and to be able to believe what you want to believe. And that means not putting any one particular religion or any one particular denomination's beliefs into the Constitution, because if you look at the landscape now, there are even Christian organizations who are completely fine with gay marriage, who are willing to bless gay unions, which means this is no longer a Christian issue. This is an issue of certain denominations wanting to put their specific interpretations of the Christian beliefs into the Constitution or into a state's Constitution. And even still, it's wrong, whether it's the denomination or the entirety of the religion. This country is not a Christian nation. Indeed, when I was heavily involved in the Southern Baptist Church, I used to get letters from a group called Voices of the Martyrs, who are still around today. And one of the things they constantly really, really hit on in their letters was the persecution of the Christian minority in other countries, specifically in Muslim theocracies. And it, can, it comes to me as kind of a double standard to say that theocracies are, are dangerous and that they are persecuting Christians, to then say that we should then behave like a theocracy. And just because the theocracy here is the religion that you happen to practice doesn't make it any less a theocracy if you try to bring Christianity into the public sphere through the government. So, long story short, if Chick-fil-A wants to stop donating money to groups that seek to enshrine religious beliefs into state and national and federal constitutions, I would be happy to go back. I miss my waffle fries. 
I don't care if the president wants to continue to say that he believes in biblical um, definition of marriage. He's free to do that. And I respect him as an American for getting out there and speaking up, even if what he's saying is going to go against the flow of time and the flow of history. More power to you. But if your organization is going to spend money to hurt me actively, and more importantly, to go against the founding principles of our country, then no, you don't get my money. And I'm going to make sure that any of my friends or family that will listen to me will hear that, and hopefully they also won't give them money. Because the only thing that speaks to a private corporation or to a publicly held corporation is the flow of dollars. And the fact is, you can be a Christian organization without trying to take your Christian ideals and make them law. Just live by your own ideals. If you don't believe that being gay is right, don't be gay. If you don't believe that gay marriage is right, don't marry a gay person. It's that simple. It really is that simple. Otherwise, they should also be trying to pass laws such as required baptisms for all American citizens. And I don't think they're pushing for that yet. Anywho, long story short, it's important to respect each other, respect each other's beliefs and opinions on both sides of that street. And if you spend money to hurt me, you can't have my money. It's mine. Anyway, that's all I had to say. So I hope everyone has a wonderful week and a great Sunday, and I'm sure there'll be lots of discussion on this particular topic moving forward. Lots of love and peace.